This is the follow-up to our Stadia installation on iPhone, where their official app didn't actually play Stadia on the iPhone. They just released their Apple iOS support app that is currently in beta. In this video, we're going to guide you through on how to install and set up this new beta app so you can actually play Stadia on your iPhone. As of now, this new Stadia app is not on the App Store. It is in beta, so we have to go to the Stadia website to get the shortcut to the app directly. We'll open the Stadia homepage by opening up a browser and going to stadia.google.com. The first thing it's going to want you to do is sign in. And to do this, you'll hit the sign in button and sign in with your Google account. This is required for playing Stadia. Sign in to get playing or sign up for a Google account if you don't have one. Signing up for a Google account is free. Once you are signed in, you'll get to the Stadia Home Dashboard. Here's where you'll have just a few steps to be able to access Stadia whenever you want on your iPhone. The first step is to tap the Share button at the bottom of the toolbar. Step 2. Select the Add to Home Screen button from the menu. Then hit the Add button at the top right to confirm. Now to check to see if it's on your home screen. If it is, you can use this shortcut as a way to access Stadia like an app. Now, last but not least, don't forget to remove the official app if you installed it previously. You should be ready to play a game with the new Stadia app now. Hit the app icon to get started. You might have to sign in again as well. After you sign in, feel free to go to the Stadia store to look for a game if you are brand new to Stadia. Either buy that game or look for a free to play game to start with. I'm going to continue my gaming session with the last game I played, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Usually with most cloud gaming apps, it's required to turn your device to landscape mode to play your game. It is not required in this Stadia app, but it is highly recommended and I will for this tutorial. Stadia also requires you to have a gamepad. I have set up an Xbox One controller to use through Bluetooth on my iPhone. Use any gamepad you see fit that is compatible with your iPhone, but if you do not have one, it will offer you the in-game touch gamepad. When you are ready to quit the game, hold down the middle Stadia button on the remote or the Xbox button on the Xbox One controller and hit exit game on the pop-up. Feel free to do the Stadia survey or skip it altogether. After this, you're done. Close out of the app or start a new game. This has been a long-awaited app from Google for its fix for iOS support for Stadia. Make sure to try it out on all your Apple iOS devices that are supported. Feel free to send feedback to Google because this app is still technically in beta. If you'd like this new beta tutorial for Stadia on iPhone, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned right here at the only place where you could do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.